Welcome back to some more Fat Chats. You're here once again with just me. You don't like me. Suck it. Um, today we're gonna do some more Reddit because, yes. Um, we're gonna do a good old fun subreddit. Um, some of you may know what it is by me saying this. It's actually going to be in the title anyway, so I don't know why I'm doing this, but, um, everyone grab your fedoras, get your, um, square glasses ready. This is, uh, r slash nice guys. Um, looks like we're starting off strong with someone's posted using guys for friends is just as psycholo psychologically damaging as using girls for sex. Sounds like a literal fedora with arms wrote this, but okay. I... Wrong. It was a guy that posted the first bit. Got it. Next one. My husband died last month. His nice co-worker started messaging me. Oh no. Already this looks bad from the first message. Hi, blank. Sorry about that awkward run-in earlier. Hope you're well, kissy face. Hi, it's okay. Thanks. It's... Blank, by the way. I worked with your husband. Was very hurt to hear that he passed. I lost my dog recently, so I know how you're feeling. I'm here to listen if you want. Thank you. Are you... Blank. Yeah. Thought so. Women for your country have such incredible hips. Sorry? I'm, s I'm sorry. You go from that to... Nice hips. Your husband is a lucky man. Sorry. Was. Thanks for clarifying. Wouldn't have known what you meant if you didn't add in the was there. Sorry if I was rude. You're just very beautiful. I don't want to screw this up. Screw what up? My chance with you. What lol? Um, I'm really not ready for anything like that. I'm a good guy, I promise. One date is all I ask. I'm free this Friday and Saturday. I'm busy then and I'm not looking for that right now. How about next week? I'm busy then, and I'm still not looking for anything. I knew your husband well. I know what you expect in a man. I can provide that. Please, all I ask you for is one date. You'll see what I'm worth. I've said no. Please respect that. Fair enough. This woman knows. Fair enough. Of course I respect women. Are their choice. Thanks. I'm gonna go now. Take care. Okay. Should have known you were just a pretty face. You aren't even that pretty. Okay. Sorry if I upset you. That was wrong of me. Let me make it up to you. Dinner on me. I'm free tonight. I'll bring you food. I still haven't... I still have your address from when I came over. No. Your husband would want you to be with a man he knows will treat you right. In all ways. I'm good at taking care of women. Especially ones like you. I'll bring you food. Oh, oh, wrong part. Especially ones like you. Such fuckable hips. I'm way too sober to deal with this. Bye, lol. Okay, no more chances. Hoi, that's... That was a roller coaster and a half. Went from... Hi, sorry, I... Ran into you earlier. It's me, I worked with your husband in case you didn't know. Eh, I'm, I'm sorry you passed. But also that I know how you're feeling, a dog died. No you don't. No you don't. Anyway. Hoi, it's gonna be interesting. 
Hey cutie, you're beautiful. Don't ignore me. Am I not worthy of a single hello? I take the back, you're actually just a bitch. I was peeing. Chill. Do you think a guy wants to hear about that? You're disgusting. For performing a normal bodily function? Guys don't want to hear about that stuff, it's gross. Period, vagina, menstruation. Stop! Urethra, uterus, vulva, cervix. Please stop. I even shit every once in a while. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, I'm not reading that one. Okay, this, one, this one's a bit funny off of you. I'm a gentleman. She's a feminist. As soon as I walk her home, she insists on walking me home. We can't stop. It's been 16 days. Um. Oh, God. There's a comment on some Reddit thing. I don't get why women buy dildos. There are plenty of us guys available who never get the chance. They would rather have sex with a plastic object than us. Someone replied, Yes. <sighs> oh, no. This couldn't go any further from... I don't know how this can get worse. It starts worse with the first message. Worse? It starts really fucking bad with the first message. Hey, I saw your Fortnite cosplay. I'm blank, by the way. Just a nice guy trying to make some friends. You know as soon as they say they're a... They say they're a nice guy? They're not. Did you make your costume yourself? Don't say much, huh? Sorry, did I say something to offend you? Hello? Hey, sorry, I was... Having dinner with my family. I didn't actually make it. I borrowed it from a friend. Well, it was super impressive, especially. You don't see a lot of girls cosplaying as Fortnite tunes. Do you actually play or do you just cosplay for likes? Yeah, I play. Just making sure because a lot of girls just cosplay characters for attention or likes. Okay, man. Have a good holiday. You too. Is that all you're going to day say? Yeah, it's been a long day and I stuffed. And I'm just really trying to unwind. So have a good night, bud. They've re they've taken screenshots of this very poorly. Some people just tend to be more appreciative when you compliment them. Not all just figured you'd be a little more appreciative, especially since you claim to be a gamer. You play PC or console. That would explain a lot. Sorry, how does that explain a lot? How does it explain... If I went up to someone and went, yeah, I play PC, how the fuck does that explain anything to them? Hello? Sorry if that sounded hostile. Dude, hostile doesn't begin to describe this extremely one-sided conversation. Only one-sided because someone, wink wink, you, is quiet. What? Smiley face. I'm teasing. Dude, stop. Thank you for your half-assed compliments, as con condescending as they were. I'm trying to enjoy my night, and I don't have time for your nice guy bull. I literally just tried being nice to you. I complimented your shitty cosplay. I tried making conversation. Fuck me for trying, though. You're a fake-ass bitch. Highly doubt you game. Fake-ass. It's the holidays. Have some fucking cheer. Hello? Listen, I was trying to compliment you. I liked your cosplay, and I thought we had something in common. I'm sorry if that seemed rude. I swear I'm not usually like that. I'm pretty usually pretty normal. I've just been trying to start conversations with a few people, and I'm having the worst time getting people to reply. Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. Yeah. Just kidding. Fuck off. Fucking bitch. Fucking typical fucking bitch. I would have blocked you sooner, but I thought you'd score me some Reddit points. Let's find out. Fucking kaiju bitch. Fuck you. Read it. Fuck you. You've been blocked. You've blocked this account. Holy shit. That's not how you talk to people. It's just not how you talk to people. Now, I'm going to check. How long have we been going? Nine minutes? Cool. Just thought I'd check. Oh, God. 
God. Thought I looked cute as hell today. My boyfriend told me I looked, I look like Pinhead Larry. If you don't know who that is, SpongeBob. It's, I'm assuming like Patrick's cousin or it's Patrick just doing something. I don't know. He looks like Patrick. Drop that asshole. You're gorgeous. He doesn't appreciate you, sweetheart. You need to leave him. You're gorgeous. You know what? Oh, my phone turned. You know what? You do look more than cute. Get a boyfriend who is not so dis courteous and one who is more interested in you than himself she is cute as hell and she needs to dump his ass kick his ass and dump him i think it was a joke i think it was a joke um hmm Oh. Nice guy thinks he's better than guacamole. Lamau. Oh, no. This person posted on a Snapchat story, guacamole's better than sex. Lamau, you so obviously haven't had sex with the right man. Allow me to change that. Ah, uh, no thanks. I think I'll stick with the guacamole. Blank. You are one intriguing woman. You complain about being single, and yet the second a nice man offers you his comp... You would rather eat guacamole. This is why you're fat. I think it might be the funniest thing I've ever read. It's like you can't grasp the concept of irony. Maybe you're not as nice as you think you are. Fucking bitch. Bitch, you'll be lucky to have so. Have me. Should be grateful I'm even talking to you. You're so right. What was I thinking? I'm being so dumb. You're obviously such a nice, charming guy when you can come and. When can you come over? Oh, my voice is fucking itself. I can't speak. When can you come over, sexy? Wait, really? Eggplant emoji, eggplant emoji, eggplant emoji. Really? Fuck no, I'd rather die alone. Decent guy only wants one thing from his date. Ooh, this is a long one. The world is full of shit people, lol. What do you mean? I'm drunk and angry, lol. Worst date ever. Remind me in the morning to stop dating. That'll be awesome. What happened? He tried to guilt me for not going over to his house after I dra- dra- Dead. And now a big message from the same person. It's three paragraphs, by the way. You ready for a three paragraph essay? Alright. Told me everything I wanted to hear. Pretended to want the same things. Talked the talk. But when it came down to it, he was like, so do you want to come over? And I was like, well, it's getting late. I work tomorrow, but I'd like to see you again if you're up to it. And he was like, so that's it. Wind and dined, you won't come over. And I was like, well, this is our first date. And I said, I'd like to see you again. And he was like, is that what you thought this was? I was so caught off guard. I said, you literally, I said, you literally called me and asked me if I'd like to go on a date with you. Those were your words. And he was like, you really knew I, who oh. You really knew what this was, though. And I said, I literally thought this was a date because you asked me on one. And I had a good time up until now. And it was like, so you're really not going to come over. And I was like, we talked about taking things slow and agreed we wanted to see where things go and see if there was potential in actually dating each other. After our many talks about what we wanted, he looked me dead in the eyes and said, I did all of this because I wanted to be a decent guy. I only wanted one thing from you. Looks like I'm not about to get it. I was so fucked up after he said that. I literally turned around and walked away from him and got into my car and drove off. He called me and was like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I just hung up. I just hung up him and blocked him. The next day. Stop dating. By the ne- by the personal message room. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's pretty good. Jesus Christ. Um, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Oh, wait, let me really quickly. Yoink. Get that set up now to do that. Um, it says something that I can't read. 
wearing a fedora, you should be saying, like, see here and damn. Classy fedora dudes never say, milady, what the fuck. And why do they always have katanas? They're like five different time periods in this horrible trope. Right. There are some weird things on this subreddit that aren't just, you know. Holy shit, this is... This is interesting. Guy says, Are fedoras really that bad? Then a bunch of photos of him putting on the fedora, and then it goes, one of them with him with the fedora on and glasses on. I, it's definitely, like, a joke. And then, in black and white, it goes, Nice guys finish last. And then he takes the fedora off, looks at it, and then types, Yes, yes they are. I don't really believe this mumbo-jumbo. And then another guy posts a bunch of things. Posts his face, he's just holding it. I mean, it's a goddamn hat. Looking at it, right? Puts it on. The white rose, it symbolizes the unique beauty of all the women who wish not to be with a nice guy such as myself. And then he throws it. Yeah. Oh, God. Someone tweeted, Why would girls choose the entitled and misogynistic jocks instead of the quiet nerds whose attitude towards women are exactly on par with the jocks but who are less attractive? Ooh. Um, where's a good one? Okay, a Facebook friend had a boyfriend pass away recently, and she shared this experience from a nice guy. Hey, call me if you need anything, please. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Anything at all, even if you just want, to talk, want someone to talk to. Please, just know all the BS that we have been through. I'll never love the way I loved you. Really not in the mood for this. Okay, sorry for being in love with you. Oh, that's... No, I should say that. Okay, sorry for being in love with you. Glad you look at me as such a piece of shit when you were in my life. Don't worry, I'll never text you again. Fucking stop or I'm blocking you and my boyfriend just died. Do you get that? Bye. Maybe if I was fucking dead, maybe you would care. Driving home, hope I die and you miss me as much. Miss me as me as much. That's some good English. It fucking hurt my head for a second. Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. These people. Ooh. Church dance rules, I guess. Get ready for the dance. Paint your nails, wear a little lip gloss, and don't forget to brush your teeth. Don't forget... What the approved dress standards are when choosing your outfit. You don't want the embarrassment of being asked to go home and change. And you don't want the guy dancing with you to feel uncomfortable because of the questionable outfit you somehow justified. Ooh. Go with a friend, but don't be joined at the hip. No guy is going to interrupt the highly intense conversation that you seem to be having with your girlfriend every time he walks by you. That's true. Never say no to a guy who had the courage to walk over and ask you to dance in the first place. A song lasts approximately three minutes. It's not that bad. Ooh. E. No. Like, don't say no and then give a reason that's shitty. Say no and then be like, oh, I have someone already. Or if you don't have someone already, say no and just be like, I don't want to right now. Don't be a dick and say, no, I'm not going to dance with you. That's bad. But at least... You can say no. You can say no. That's what I'm trying to get at. You can say no. Stop being an asshole about it, because then you are being a cunt. 
There we go. That's good. Know your standards for the strength of youth. Sorry. What the fuck is a dance card? The last point is don't forget your dance card. What the fuck is a dance card? Oh. Don't protect women unless they're willing to sleep with you, king. New Jersey... Okay. It's a, it's a news thing. New Jersey man stabs in the head protecting friend from violent ex-boyfriend. You know, being a good fucking person. Even better than a good person. Being a fucking absolute god. You know what? He can have that. Someone commented, She probably still friendzoned him. Focus on yourself, king. Bro, shut the fuck up. You don't fucking stop someone from killing your friend to then, for the reason that you want them. No, you be a fucking good person. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Oh, nice guy is a 9-11 operator. Operator, what is your emergency? Woman, please help. Some men broke into my home. Operator, not all men are like that. I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't because it's a fucking crime. Alright. I'll do one more, I think. Let's just absolutely check that one more is a good idea. Yep, one more. Okay. <laughs> Hey man, can I talk to you about blank? I guess so. What about her? I've been talking with her a lot. And we've grown pretty close. I know you're her boyfriend and all, but uh, I was going to politely ask if you could break up with her. I just really feel a connection to her and she'll be happy with me. That's funny because she told me you were creepy and constantly text her even when she doesn't reply. You need to stop talking to my girlfriend and get the fuck out of our DMs. Lol. You know she's just using that as an excuse because she'd... Oh, it's fucking there. That's bad um, screenshotting. Jesus. You know, she's just using that as an excuse because she'd rather tell you that than the truth, which is that she met a nice, charming alpha male. You betas are all the same. What the fuck did you make her block me? The, to be honest, I should thank you. I didn't even want that ugly whore anyway. Have fun with her, f- though, beta. You're insane. Holy shit. He is fucking insane. That's not how you talk to a person. And you don't lie to um, someone's boyfriend after you've just pretty much stalked them. Going, yeah, we've been close. Can you break up with them? What the fuck? That's... No. Anyway. Next time. It's probably still gonna be just me for a bit. So, have fun with just me for the next few until Friday, actually. Next time. Ah!